Hello, I'm Dwight Norris of FishNetwork.com. Today we're doing a little more fishing on the Charles River. Now, if you haven't heard, the striper are at the Cape Cod Canal. They just reached the southern part. They're making their way through. People are catching a hold over stripers everywhere because they're seeing all the blueback herring coming up all the rivers. Even have a relative that saw them like pretty close to here. So I'm beginning my uh, little journey on going big and catching big bass. So check it. <laughs> spot that somebody might know and I put on this whopper flopper it's a blue whoa it's a herring style black blue whopper flopper doesn't say herring but it has the blue back and the silver bottom and the black top too as well so I figure that's close enough for a whopper flopper and even if they're looking down below they probably won't even know what the hell it is now the most popular kinds are the black and the also the bone color like pure white works well too it, i didn't go through and explain like why all that is but do some searching around you'll figure it out too so if you're looking for a plopper stick with something that's close to the forge and then black white and clear to get the clear one you're gonna have to go to places like ebay and find some kind of dealer selling one that's not pink let's get the cast out There are some lily pads here that are going to mess me up, but I'm going to do the stop and go pattern which everybody's talked about. People who complain a lot about their offer popper not working because they don't do some kind of erratic motion. The, the flopping gets their attention, they come from far away, they take a look at it and say what the heck is that spinning thing, and then you move again and like no time to think about it. Bite it first, see what happens. That's really what you want. You want a reaction bite. Don't let them think. to use a top water plug right now. Usually I do finesse in the spring because all the fish are spawning and they're not really active, but there are the male bass that are trying to attack everything. And we also have the possibility of some holding a striper here or, I don't know, maybe the blue back hair right here and I just don't realize it yet. see more than two cormorants in one uh, viewing like, area. Now I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cormorants. They like to dive for, for their prey. Eels, I see them swallow down. Straight up fish, they swallow down. So they're, they're here because something is coming through. I'm 
always no fur. The storms are coming. See those animals take off? Like they're going on migration? It's probably time to uh, go on vacation. I didn't get anything for a year or so, and I was like, man, that was the biggest waste of money at Walmart ever spent in my life. I was a teenager, didn't have any cash. I thought getting a top order bike would be awesome. I tried it everywhere, nothing. And I was like, the BS, I think you had to be a bass tournament pro to work this thing. But no, this wasn't persistent enough. Didn't go to the right areas, right time. back just looking for some bass just ready to jump through the lily pad pretty much everywhere i did it one place last year small little pond and whoo that pickerel just came out of nowhere nailed that man i was like oh yeah family's swimming over there i'm seeing pickerel over here that was a good day out i did the same thing when we were on vacation at the beach my fishing rod, and right else is filling in the water. Like, I'll have some time in the water. I'll play it. Man, some really fast right way out of here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,
to the docks over here, the Watertown Yacht Club, cast behind there. So we're heading back to Watertown Center. Going further away is it the way advantages? Time is a little time for more time. Uh probably like 420. Okay, I think I've worn out my welcome here. I'm gonna move to the next spot. So it looks like so this will be a shorter video. We have some things to do at home. I cleaned my grill, so it doesn't have an issue again. And start making some beer sausages. Those are good. But uh, I'm gonna try some more spots here while I still have a little bit of time. And finish this coffee up.
is it wrong? They're gonna have four rainbows, two bats, and two brackets. Just a uh, cast master. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I know all that whole year. <laughs> oh, wow. I've been exploring, but I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. 
I grew up right up the street from here, so. Oh, cool, yeah. I, I love it. Are you kidding me? Great to see you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't beat this place. Yeah. I mean, from here, it sucks because you don't have a lot of open area. Mm -hmm. But down further, uh, Alcumar Park is. Yeah. Probably from Channel 7 there. Yeah. There's my line back with a uh, little uh, dollar spinners from uh, Walmart. Yeah. They fill them with that. They drain it, they stock it every single year just like to make it cool. Okay. Those waters are clean. They will put the fish in that one for the end. But you gotta go to the reservoir. They have bass in there too. And carp. You have a fish for carp? I have a fish for carp. No, oh, you gotta do it. I'm like, ah, oh, like that. They're old and stuff. They're a little malty. Corn meal, strawberry soda. What? Corn meal, strawberry soda. Strawberry soda. Mix it together, make a dough ball out of it. Throw it out. Who gets doing it? I do. <laughs> but that's all right, though. We have fun, you know. You go out and you have a good time. You know, fishing's awesome. Yep. Huh? Yeah, how old is he? You haven't taken him yet? Oh, no, he goes all the time. Oh, okay. Did you go fishing a lot? That was my grandson. He's four years old. I took him this last year and this year. Last year, first time taking him, I took him to Hartford State Park. First fish he catches. Four and a half pounds for it. You gotta be kidding me. I says, most people die for that in a lifetime, and he's pulling them one after another. I, I can take my, my daughter fishing when she was three. Yep. She her first fish was a two pound bass. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Right there, a dock over there. I was like, what is this? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> supposed to be catching sunfish, not that. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, but oh, it's good though. I like it. Can you get an ugly stick there? You like ugly stick GX2? I do like the GX2. I, I have the old ugly sticks, three of them. Uh, it's okay. It, I, I've, I've used the ugly stick before for a higher fish on much. Yeah, you got the seven and eight foot. Well, sure. Yeah, you can think I got the rest of it. Yeah. It's been cast through. Yep. It's been served me for a long time, but eventually I snapped it on the sheet head down in Virginia. Oh, I can so, see that happen. So, <laughs> it will break eventually. Oh, yeah, everything does. It's not impossible. No, there's lots of things they want you to do. Well, like marginal gains. The one I want, 
Sunday when I hit the lottery, I will get one of the big cell. I'm seeing a lot of air You get one, you know it's a good one. Rod bent over, and all of a sudden, gone. Okay, we spool. We spool it again and try it again. You get spooled all the time. We have so much fun doing it. Wow. And they don't die. You can't kill the wheels. And I got a left-handed and a right-handed. It's hard to find a left and a right-handed wheel nowadays. Well, now they got it so you can swap that way. But I'm saying back then, they used to have one left side or left right side. That only started years ago. Years ago when I first started, they didn't have that day. You could swap them all out of the Oh wow. So I got that, I got a I'd say right now I'm I'm down compared to what I used to have. I used to have 250 rods in <laughs> I'm obsessed with it, put it that way. As you can see. <laughs> you wanna try making your own laws? I've seen a lot of people do it, I'm like, oh man, that's that looks tight. Uh, it is and it isn't. Yeah. You know what else you can paint it with? It's the same as buying the uh, paint for lures. Fingernail polish. What? Fingernail polish. You make the enamel, it's the same thing. Huh. It's the exact same thing, it works good. And if you want to get the um, steel pattern on it, I mean that. You have a money bag with like two straight paint. Black straight paint. Huh. It's a young the, uh, steel pattern. Oh, wow. And then the double rummy stop. I'm going to have both of you go down another spacer. Your burlock is lower. Okay. Oh, there's a few points for you. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm telling you, make a war. Give it a guy to balls it with it down. Like down. Now, the crash with Michael's crafts and different things like that, they have the balls and dowels. Just carve it up a little bit how you want it. Make blind it or whatever. Okay. That's a great paint. Try it. And then you just cast it out. You catch one. Yes, I finally caught one. I'm by all. <laughs> it, it gives you an adrenaline rush. Just right behind you. But it is it's something about casting your own more like this, hooking up, realizing that you made that more in front of it. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, it is a lot. And then you cry when you lose it. You get it? No. You lose it. But you catch three or four fish in that one moon. You know, you made it. It's awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've done that. Cast in the two piece rod, the top section flew off. I had to go back in and get it. Hey, how are you? Good. All right, I'll leave it to you fishing, brother. All right. Hey, good luck. Yeah, I'm going to find a couple more spots. Oh, there you go. So, this is going to be one of my, well, it's going to be the last spot today. I got, got to go home. Got a second message to go home. But, you just learned some valuable information for a long time veteran fisherman of the Watertown, Massachusetts area. So we both just learned a lot. So if you are from around here, take note of that information and try some new things out. Go to that reservoir, try out some cast masters or something that's similar. Try out the gold, try out the silver, try out blue, try out a green, try out a something else. That's cool. And Maybe. Even think about baking your own lures. Now that makes me really think about something. Would you want to see me make lures? I've seen some people show up in my Facebook feeds for like ads and like live selling and just suggestions about what I might want to look at. And a lot of times it's a person in some kind of a workshop, machining shop, making their own lures. Not just the ones that you paint, but also the ones that you have to die cast. I'm talking like hot lead, melt, make the weights, make the shakers, make the hooks. Now you can, that's kind of like out of my league, but painting. Get the specific what is in your area, really matching the forage, plastics maybe, some hard baits with the, with the buying the blanks and then painting them. Are you interested in that? Do you want to see how to do that? There are people out there, but do you want to see it from me? Something specific, comment down below. So let's get fishing here. For a couple more minutes, say five should do, and see if anything wants to hit the whopper plopper at the very end of the Newton Yacht Club. bring things out from under the cover. What if you just run into them? Yeah, like everything's floating in the water right now. See that chunk? A yellow perch on a lure that was as big as yellow perch. Isn't that crazy? I thought only bass do that. Yellow perch are just as wild. Do you think their mouths are size infinity? They don't care. Me, 
hungry. Here comes the rowers. It'll be a giant wave. to see go by. This is better than a basketball going by. Speed force down here. Speed is the speed of my walk of water. here so no luck today you know big surprise but we did learn a lot about fishing in the local area and some things in general uh, among the old fishing universe so I'm gonna be reviewing my own video to remember what I just heard because I have some things in my head I'm rolling I'm rolling I'm thinking I'm like oh man some cool stuff I can do I could probably eat some fish not have to go to the ocean that's awesome I could try some new lures out that I bought. I didn't think that worked, but I know I shouldn't give up on lures, so I should try it again. And maybe I can catch my first trout. But let me wrap this up. DwightNorthFishNetwork.com. You can go to my website, fishingatwork.com, and get your 10 step process to go fishing at work. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a thing about do you need help with something, something? I can't remember. I wrote it myself. But there's a little button there, you download it, no email at all. And if you want to get something cool, I have created it. Yes, how to get fishing gear like this. And even the older style, like the guy I was talking about, 308s, some old Apple Garcias back in the day when they used to make them right. Get those for cheap, find them for free even, online and offline. I've made a PDF just for you. Just go to the top of fishnetwork.com and put in your email address, click the button, confirm, and then you'll have it sent right to you. You'll get sent right to the page. You can download it to your computer, to your phone, and review it over and over again. How's he doing that? Wait, I can go there and do this? I can go there and do that? Let me try that. Let me talk to somebody. Let me build these relationships with people that I didn't think I could build relationships with and get some cool stuff. So, further, um, you know, get fishing.